Okay, so I'm here in Dongguan, China with Tom, um, who's the owner of the factory behind me, a uh, factory that makes bongs, and we're heading in there to have a look how they're made. So here we are at Tom's factory, where we're going to be taking a closer look at how they produce their silicon bongs. The first step is the molding. Okay, and these are the molds? Yeah. Yeah. Both are different shape. Yeah, so yeah. Each, each different product has a different mold. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's good as yeah. Yeah. Have a different okay. mold. Yeah. Okay, okay, cool. And you get this mold made by a different company, a mold making yes. company. Yes, yeah. I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There will be a mold. So now we're going to have a look at the raw material. Parts of this video are going to be voiced over as there are some really loud machines going on in the background and I don't want to burst any of your eardrums. Uh, this is the first process, it's the raw material that's been brought into the factory before it's been mixed with any colour. And here's Lee saying that it feels and looks like plasticine. In the blue top, that's Cloud. Cloud is now explaining to us that this is the mixing machine. At a 10 to 1 ratio from raw material to colouring material, it's then fed through this machine several times to completely combine it, making it ready for the next process. Actually, I took a bit of a liking to this part of the process. I could have easily stayed here for 20 minutes just watching it go through the rollers and being rolled out the other side. It's super satisfying. After the mixing of the two materials, it's now ready to be divided up into sections. As all of the products are different shapes and sizes, it's necessary to have different amounts of silicon for each one. And what this machine does is divides the silicon into centimeter long strips so that it makes it really easy for the guy who's using it to split it into each section. Now that the silicon's been rolled out, it's ready to be cut into chunks and weighed. Each one is measured to the same weight so that it minimizes wastage as much as possible. This particular factory do mixed color designs and that's why you can see here that several layers of color have been put together to create that effect. I had no idea it was like this. I thought it was like plastic pellets that went in. I didn't know it was like plasticine. After it's been weighed, the blocks are ready to be put into the moulds on the press. This machine will heat up the silicon to melting point, allowing the colours to run and the pots to start taking their shape. As you can see now, the mould is closed and it needs to stay closed for 6 minutes. And it gets to 200 degrees C. For a more complex product, for example this yellow bong, you need multiple moulding layers that stack together. This, this mold we have a three, three pieces, three pieces, three, three pieces. Okay. Yeah. After establishing that it was in fact three pieces, um, it was time to check out what went on after it comes out of the press. The mold is done, but there's lots of unwanted excess material still stuck to it. Bear in mind the silicon is still extremely hot. He's using compressed air and a hammer so that he can pull the bongs out of the mold without affecting the product. <laughs> so uh, here's Lee embarrassing himself. Obviously, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay. You don't look out of the side. You know, we have the leaf. Uh, so we move into the place now where they trim all the excess silicon off the products. Okay, so when the products come out of the mold of the machine, they're all, they have this sort of uh, way, so the products now have to be trimmed um, and all the excess cut off, and that's what's happening. Here. 
we, we understand that smoking cannabis in China is not legal, it's illegal. Yeah. So where, where do most of these products get sold to? The biggest market is in North America. Like North America. States, in America. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of funny that you're manufacturing them all here, and yet yeah. it's, not, it's not allowed to here. It's yeah. illegal it's here. It's amazing yeah. to manufacture these kind of things in an illegal country yeah. for smoking cannabis too. Send them the to a country that's legal, which is illegal yeah, for smoking yeah. cannabis. <laughs> Are you able to do anything? Just to do the job. No, it's a uh, throwaway. Money. Oh. oh, you can sell it. Yeah, I can sell it. Oh. Can recycle. Yeah. Oh, can recycle. Recycle. Oh, okay. Recycle, so the waste yeah. can actually be recycled, so there's no waste at all. It's good. It's pretty good. Yeah. After the excess is trimmed, that's the product complete. So there's only one process left, which is to package up the item and to send it where it needs to go. Yeah, the last process is uh, packaging. Yeah, we packaging, put the bubbles. some of the different kinds of packaging. We have more simple packaging simple, yeah. here and then more elaborate retail kind of packaging here. And uh, you might remember this guy from adverts from many years ago. He's the Pepper Army guy. <laughs> That's cool that yeah, is. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> Finally, we're just going to go and see the warehouse where once it's all packed, it's stored before shipment. So this is all the stock here, shipped to all over the world, all silicon products of various shapes and sizes. Okay, so this one, it's actually produced as a, a plain white silicone, then it's sent to another factory to have the print applied. Um, so actually you can apply any print you want to them, you can see there's just different ones here so they can be made, you know, pretty funky. Please no, please not again. <laughs> well there you have it. I hope you enjoyed our journey around the Bong factory. There is and will be many more interesting videos on this channel so smash that subscribe button or you'll miss out big time. Go ahead and click either of these videos on the screen, you won't regret it. As always, till next time.